This is Beat That, and that's exactly what this programme's all about. Each week, I'll be presenting a team of kids with a problem that they have to beat. They'll be given a time limit and very little help from me. So, let's see if this week's team can beat that. This week, we're in Newcastle, home of the journey. Anyway, enough of my impressions. Let's get on with it. You have to run the restaurant for an evening. You must buy, prepare and serve all the food yourselves. You have to arrange and prepare a suitable venue. You each have to find four guests. <laughs> you can enlist any outside help that you require. Well, there you go. That's what it is. How are you supposed to run it? What, so how are you going to manage to run a restaurant? Well, well I don't really know, I'm not a chef. When I first found out we were going to have to run a restaurant, I thought in the space of a week it's going to be very difficult. I don't care who's, who's doing the cooking as long as it's not me. Let's see. It's Monday now. I think you should run the restaurant on Friday. So, you've got a week? Well, we've got to feed people, we've got to buy the food, and we've got to find somewhere to use as a restaurant and we've got to invite people so that's what made me think it would be, it would be very difficult. Be that. Why don't we do a prawn cocktail? Yeah. Write it down. Mm. Any of our neighbours may not make it. Yeah. Me and Julie are going to be the cooks. I think we're going to buy things that are already cooked and heat them up. Behind me, the girls are working out very intensely, something or other. However, I'm sure the boys aren't being anywhere near as quiet. Angel Delight? Jelly and ice cream. Jelly and ice cream. Wobble, yeah. wobble and ice cream. Um, and then, and then... Jelly and... Fudge cake. Whatever. Fudge cake. Fudge ice. Fudge cake. Fudge spit. What else? Um, um, have you got curry down Salad. Salad. After going through all Salad. sorts of combinations, none of which I think they could actually cook, Simon and Nathan had a very good idea. Why don't we go to some pla pizza places and see how they make some pizza? Or, um, or go to, um, um, and go and ask a professional chef if um, anybody knows. Uh, for a few anybody. tips. <laughs> yeah, for a few tips. <laughs> can't get more professional than this lot. They're chefs at one of Newcastle's top restaurants, and we've booked ourselves in to try and pick up a few tips. <laughs> well, look at the way they've done these napkins, eh? Very flash. So let's just ruin them and we can do them all again, while we wait for our menu, which I hope will come soon, because I don't know about you lot, but I am starving. <laughs> we sat down at the table, got, had these menus handed out to us, which Hardly any of us could understand. It looks like it looks like foreign rice. It's all what? It looks like foreign rice. I said it was all gobbledygook. Nah, it was gobbledygook. Never proper English money because I don't understand this. Exotic fruit coffee. Oh, foreign selection of fruits. Let's do it. So eventually we translated it, and we ordered. The display of cutlery and all the napkins and posh glasses and posh plates and posh fish knives and things like that. That's what I think makes it posh and the way the seats look on the tables. Uh, octopus? <laughs> that's, past, that's called pasta, Simon. Anything else you want to know? One thing everybody wanted to know was could they have lots of pudding, because they all look so good. After scoffing the lot, they asked to see the chef, and then Nathan picked his brains. How did you make the strawberry gato? 
But I'll tell you what, if you'd like to come back in an hour into the kitchen, I'll show you how it's made. Okay? Smart. Yeah. Take the first layer. Get some nice strawberry flavored cream. Quickly spread it on. All right. What's next? So have any of you done any python before? No. You never used a python bag? side of the gutter. So just gently Well, the cakes are nearly finished. So, Julie, let's see yours. Oh, very nice. And now, Nathan, <laughs> let's see yours. Well, the scores are Julie 10, Nathan 2. Now all the gang have had at least three baths each to remove all the gatto from their hands and they've come here to be shown how to make pizza. I tend to think they're being shown how to do an awful lot, they're actually doing nothing. So don't hurry up, they haven't got a chance of running their own restaurant. The true in the air. Oops. She gets so far out. Put it in your tray. Put it in your tray. Get round. You use that. Very simple. That's from there, I would put it straight in the oven. And that would take approximately five minutes to cook. So when the pizza was up in the air and flattening them, flattening them out, that was good. What if you didn't catch them? <laughs> splat. Oh, no. I threw it up and it was all right. Part of catching it, the way he caught it in his hand flat. I caught it with my fingers. Couldn't have caught it in my flat hand. Well, yes, I seem to have got sort of the hang of that. But I definitely think the pizzas are going to be frozen on Friday. We've decided to go and look at some other restaurants to see how they make the food and to see how they've got the table set and see if we've got napkins and things like that on the, on the tables. And that's um, how we worked out what, what to put on our menu. Now this is a good idea. What I've done is I've got a menu from somewhere or other and they're using it so they can set out their own menu. So what's going on then, guys and girls? We've just starting, we've finished off the stars and we're starting on the main course. Oh, very twitch, it's very professional. <laughs> Type it in there. Type it in there. I didn't get this machine. I think I know how to do it. Ah, it just looks like a G, but it's not. Pizza. Right. They really are dark horses, this lot. I'm impressed. Although it looked like they weren't paying any attention to anything, they have, in fact, come up with a very good menu. But have they done anything about arranging somewhere to hold the restaurant? We asked our teacher if we could borrow used the last school to run our restaurant and he said yes. We, we all think that it'll be an ideal place because they've got a kitchen right next to a big old room and we think it's going to be a really nice place to have a restaurant. The problem is we can't get it into Fridays. I suppose that's one thing less to worry about but I don't think not getting it until Friday is a very good idea. Anyway, now they've done the menu it's time to have a practice and see if they can actually prepare the dishes. I wonder if I'll live to see Saturday. Oh, look, he's put it all over the pan. 
that one. Do that one. When you do your picture, we do that. Feel more confident now because I made like a cake and egg mayonnaise, which I didn't think I could make. So I think it's going to be much better. I think we've got a chance. Julie has awful. Right, boys, what's going on here then? It's a big improvement from the strawberry cattle I'm making. Yeah, it's uh, telling me it is. It actually looks like a pizza, that one. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you strawberry cattle looked like a pizza as well, didn't it? <laughs> Wasn't meant to, but there you go. All right. <laughs> Stuffed olives. Lovely. Rabbit droppings. <laughs> Anyone for pizza? <laughs> and yes, when I read it, really yeah. And this is my creation. I call this one a failure. The highest order. Once you've made them, you stick them in the oven. Now, did the bloke in the pizza place say five minutes or five hours? Oh well. I'll just split the difference and come back in two and a half. Oh dear, well, I think they won't be very pleased when they come in tomorrow. They're going to have to make some more pizzas because Mick has struck a game. I'm glad I present programmes and don't make food. <laughs> from Pendel Hall School. Can I speak to your boss, please? Darren Smith thought of inviting Newcastle United, but I um, don't think we're going to invite him because he said if we're going to invite the whole team, each of us that's doing the programme would have to invite four players because he's 28. I wouldn't. If we could ask him if we could borrow some of these, oh, four of these players to come and be guests. Ah, it's you, a horrible little lot. So what are you doing here at the market? Shopping. You're shopping? So, have you got your shopping lists? No. Oh, that was bright, wasn't it? You're just going to do it off the top of your head. Uh, oh, that looks good. We'll have some of that. So I'll leave you to it. Have fun. I'm off shopping myself. Mm, quite nice. I think this is going to be really expensive. Shopping's been the worst bit. I hate shopping. You get tired of me after carrying loads and loads of bags. Hello, how many slices would you like? 30 slices. Hey, thank you. Next, please. A couple of ham, there's nothing left now. <laughs> At the start of the week, we didn't think it would happen. Well, now we've put a bit more effort into it, and I think a restaurant will be OK. Now you've unpacked, you've got your soup, you've got your prawn cocktail stuff, you've got your mayonnaise, red mayonnaise, orange juice, stuff for your pizzas, stuff for your spaghetti bolognese, and stuff for your salad. But you haven't got anything for curry and rice. There's no curry or rice here. <laughs> what are you going to do? Is it, do you think that might be a um, scrub from the menu? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. But the question is, are you confident about tomorrow night? Yes. No. no. I've got to eat this stuff. I don't want to be poisoned, you know. <laughs> Tomorrow's a big day. 
the final day it is to try and get this whole thing together. But I'm pretty confident that it works. It's Friday morning, the big day. In this hall is where the restaurant is going to be held. So let's go in and see what's going on. All right, you eager beavers. Hello, Simon. What are you doing then? Setting up a table for the yeah? restaurant. So what do you reckon to this um, glorious hall then? It's all right. It's going to be a nice place to have your restaurant? Yeah. Looking forward to it? Yep. Good. They're all working jolly hard preparing the hall and, of course, the food. Since the girls are going to do the cooking, the boys will be waiters. Why not the other way round, I wonder? Having seen the prawn cocktails, I think Julie would make a very good waitress. Ah! <laughs> oh, what was the people like Coco Cook? about the cook job because don't, the boy says the cook but don't work no wood. I thought with the people who could walk and wanted to be wait on our waitress, like if we used a trolley for them, because they could move but they could push it instead of carrying it. It's not pretty tidy, does it? Simon, what else was you supposed to do? <laughs> Take the premises and cut the ends off. What do you need two forks for? You said? I didn't. I only said two knives. One for bread and butter, man. Look. Yeah, it's much thicker. Dead and thick now. What they do? Now, I'm really impressed how far they've got. They've managed to turn the hall into quite a convincing restaurant, and the girls are off slaving in the kitchens. But the boys want to be waiters, and they've never waited on anyone before. So, I'm going to give them some experience by pretending to be a customer. Waiter! Could I see the menu, please? Oh, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Let's think. Um, what would you what? like to Well, I'd like to know, could you tell me what exactly are the vegetables in the vegetable soup? Carrots. Where exactly are your prawns from? The sea. Pizza, spaghetti bolognese and a salad. Angel of Delight with some ghetto and a pot of tea, a pot of coffee and a coke, please. I'm sorry, sir, but you can only have one thing from each. Oh, I'll have a prawn cocktail, um, curry and rice. Uh, sorry, we haven't got curry. We've run out of curry. Oh, um, oh dear, I did so want a curry. Um, you surely haven't got any? Yeah, I'm positive. I don't like wearing dicky bows. Ones in there. And the rest of the six. Huh. Yeah, anyone here? Anyone here? Take anything to the next I thought, oh no. I've been dreading for all the week. And I was very nervous. I wouldn't think there would be so many people there. But Newcastle United came and I was impressed. You try the curry and rice? There's no curry and rice, we didn't buy any curry. There's no curry and rice. Yeah. Uh, they didn't, have menu, they didn't buy any curry. One pound cocktail. Wait, what I'll, cake? I'll just leave that with you. What fruit juice? Darren, what fruit juice? Fruit juice, no. We'll take that back on, orange oh. apple. Go back and ask them. Chicken soup, please. Chicken soup. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. spaghetti bolognese. Right. Yeah. One, two veggies, one yeah. prawn cocktail, one chicken salsa. Okay. Oh, no. I just 
fyldt to idiot donuts. Crash, bang, wall. Two sugars. How many did he want? <laughs> We're doing stars now, you Wally. Well, I finished my soup, and I must admit it was very nice. But it wasn't poisoned in any way. However, there's a few people around that haven't been um, quite so swiftly dealt with. Yeah. Excuse me, waiter, could I have a word, please? We, uh, there's no one taking an order with this oh, table I'll yet. Try and get someone right. Yeah, don't feel much. Do you want a pizza? Uh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm sorry, but the pizza are just being cooked now. It'll take ten minutes. We need some service quick. And I mean what? quick. Taylor, two to us. Number three. Who ordered that orange juice? Nobody. Nobody. Apple, apple juice. You take sugar in your uh, coffee. How many? Uh, one, please. Does anybody want these orange yeah, juice? So don't get one pizza as a vegetarian. Darren came in. Go on. I ate six pizzas. I ate five pizzas. Oh, oh my God. We didn't have enough cheese. Didn't have enough tomato. Oh, took no deal with this. I don't. <laughs> That's all right. Nice. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's actually nice. Come on. It is nice. I'm struck down. Yeah. No, I know it's nice. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on it. It'll get really dairy. Two gatos. What sort of gato is it? Well, um, chocolate or strawberry. Or strawberry. Oh. I, I don't know. I, so you I, don't check? I won't check. I've been here in ten minutes. You said ten minutes. I've been waiting for half an hour. No, you haven't. Right, the boys came in and they got them orders. But um, we kept saying, there's only three of them in the kitchen. Well, we ain't on. And we go, but I wanted that pizza. I want six pizzas and two Let's spaghetti. Go there. That's a coachman's cheese, right? Um, and that one is um, that's um, French cheese. Everyone's going, can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have this? And then after a while, I got sick and I went in the kitchen, right? And I was banging my head off the. Um, Worktop in the kitchen. So one tea with no black. Black. No milk. So it's two coffees. One black. No sugar. Well, I felt nervous at the beginning for the tea, but once once I got halfway through, I felt better. Sort of do things more quickly. <laughs> Mr. Dixon um, said that was nice. Oh. Oh. It comes from table, table five. I think it went very well. Oh, it felt very tiring. I think that counts for everybody. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. <laughs> the best bit was going out was set like a challenge and by the end of the week. I felt we wouldn't have a chance. I'm just glad we've done it now. Great. <laughs> Next Tuesday, the challenge is to cross the channel.